Alrighty, the first upgrade that you're gonna want for your prawn suit, just like in my just like in my CMOP video, you're gonna want your depth module, whether it's Mark 1 or Mark 2. There's only two there's only Mark 1 or Mark 2 for the prawn suit. You're gonna want to make sure you wanna have that because it's gonna allow you to go if you have the Mark 2 depth module, you can go anywhere on the map, aside from the void, but we're not counting that. The next upgrade you're gonna want on your prawn suit is the prawn suit jump jump. I was supposed to say jump jet module. The prawn suit jump jet upgrade is gonna allow you to be able to jump, or well, obviously jump higher as the name entails. It gives you a lot more thrust whenever you're jumping up, so you can jump up way higher. I don't think it I don't think it does anything with the I don't know if it has anything to do with like the boost whenever you're holding it like this. But I know it definitely like helps with you propelling yourself upwards super super fast. So yeah. You're gonna want that for deeper areas because it's gonna help you to traverse the areas in a much smoother fashion. The next upgrade you're gonna want for your prawn suit is going to be the thermal reactor. Now there's not because there's only there's only three prawn suit specific upgrades and these are the only three so there's not really much you can choose from but the thermal reactor it's exactly it does exactly what it says it does and it'll allow you to recharge your vehicle when you're in areas where the temperature is high so that can go anywhere from uh i think the lost river i can't remember exactly if not the lost river i know most certainly you can recharge it in the inactive and active lava zone and you can also charge it all right i found one so whatever whatever these things are called i think they're called no, I don't know what they're called actually. No, it's in here. I think I think it's a thermal vent. I mean it's basically basically the same thing. Either way, it's hot. Okay, and these are you can find these in a few places around the map. So if you just stand your prawn suit on top of one, and as you can see the battery is going up. So you can also charge it here if you just happen to find one around the map. So yeah. Now the next upgrade I think you should have on your prawn suit is going to be the energy efficiency mod. Energy efficiency, it'll decrease the the rate that your uh prawn suit drains its battery by 15%, I believe. I feel like that's that's way better than the whole reinforcement and storage module. And the storage module. Because it already comes with a storage module and whole reinforcement well. And you aren't gonna really bump you're not really going to be bumping into anything. Oh my gosh, I cannot speak. Now for your first arm, your first little uh prawn suit arm that you're gonna want is going to be the grapple arm. And the grapple arm is about to turn you into Subnautica, Subnautica Spider-Man basically, is you'll be able to zip around and it's extremely, extremely useful. Not only is it useful, but it's also extremely fun to use because you'll just be able to fly around the map like I'm doing right now. And why wouldn't you want to do that? Yeah, this sort of like compensates for the prawn to not being able to like float in the air. Well, not in the air, but float in the water like the sea moth and the Cyclops. I could not get the vehicle names. But yeah, prawn to grab alarm. You're going to want that. It's going to let you move around the map a, a, lot, a lot quicker gosh and it's going to allow you to reach areas that you otherwise would not have been able to and the last arm that you're going to want for your prawn suit and the last upgrade that you're going to want is the prawn suit drill arm now the drill arm is going to allow you to pick up large resource deposits it's the only way you can pick up the large resource deposits like like copper deposits quartz deposits titanium etc there's one for just about every, every resource in this game but yeah the drill arm is the only way you're going to be able to pick those up so it's useful for that and resource gathering and it's also it also serves as a pretty good weapon is a pretty good weapon against creatures because it does do quite a quite a bit of damage compared to the other arms that you can get because the only other ones you can get is the regular little claw arm which eh, eh, it's okay and then you can get the propulsion arm and the torpedo arm all of which are sort of useful i'd say the torpedo one is probably like the most useless out of them all though so yeah drill arm is the other one you're gonna want so you're gonna want the drill arm and the grapple arm for your arm. And then for your upgrades, you're gonna want your depth module, your thermal reactor, your jump jet upgrade, and then you're gonna want the energy efficiency. Engine efficiency, I kept reading energy, wow. Engine efficiency module. And that is going to be your ultimate little prawn suit. And yeah, that is all I have for y'all, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.